Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 14th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Before I begin, I'd like to thank all of you who have so warmly welcomed me back to my channel. I appreciate your words of encouragement. And I'd also like to continue to apologize for any noise around me and today for the new location I am recording from. Eventually, I will have my studio back once again. The word I'd like to share with you today is one regarding the finishing work the Lord is doing in His people. We often look at things around us externally, but the Lord looks within us. And yes, He is moving and working in the world because He's working out His plan. However, part of that plan is that He works in us to refine us and bring us into that place where we are most effectively functioning in all that He has for us. This word today is titled, A Day of Deliverance. May it bless you as you listen. Revel in my love, says the Lord. Receive my joy and abundance that is available to you. You are my chosen ones and you are my delight. I will give you the desires of your heart if you seek after me. In this day, a fresh wind of my spirit is blowing, says the Lord. The old is being removed and a newness is taking its place. Do not be held back by the past, but run with what the Spirit is doing in this day. I am taking you into a fresh revelation of myself, and you will not be the same after you experience the depth of my love that I am about to reveal to you. I see your patience continue to rest in me. I am preparing for myself a bride without spot or wrinkle. It is a deep work of my spirit that I am doing, and the results will be beautiful, for I am adorning my bride with precious jewels. Wait on me, do not run ahead, but keep in step with what I am doing. There will be great tribulation in the earth and there will be much destruction all around. But these things must come to pass, for it is my desire and my purpose in this day to bring the hearts of men to myself. I am giving you my heart for the lost. I am putting within you a passion for the unsaved, and you will be thrust out into the streets and into places of darkness. Let me complete the work in you, for it is a process, and over time you will be made ready. I am opening the doors before you, and they will open wide at the appointed time. Seek me with all your heart, and you shall find me. Enter into my presence with singing. Continue in fervent prayer, for this is the way to enter into the fullness of Christ. There is no other way. Make me your resting place, your habitat, and the joy of my presence shall go with you. My anointing shall be upon you, and many shall be drawn by your countenance. Press into me, my children, and do not lose sight of the promises of God that have been given to you, 
but hold on to them, for their fulfillment is shortly to come. Today is the day of deliverance and a day of release for my people. In this hour, I am doing a new thing. I am lifting up those who have been bowed down under a heavy weight. I am lifting the weight off them and untying the shackles and removing the handcuffs. I am loosing off the sin that has dogged their feet, and they shall go forward in the call that is upon their lives. They shall run with great endurance, leaping over every hurdle with great agility. They shall run and not grow weary, says the Lord. Lift up heavy hands and strengthen feeble knees, for in this day I will use you for the purposes of my kingdom. No longer will you lag behind, but you shall be cut loose to run the race to reach the finish line. You are on a journey out of bondage and into the promised land, my children, and you will be brought into the land, but only through a process of workings of my spirit. On this journey, there are stops along the way, and at each stop, there is a significant work that I am doing. My people have been fenced in, corralled into a pen and held there. They have been going round and round, it seems, within the limits of the corral. Just as the Israelites were stopped by the pillar of fire that led them, and they set up camp, my people have been at a standstill and camped. This is the working of my spirit, says the Lord. I have caused my people to camp here, for I am about to do a great work in this place. It is in this place that I will deal with sin. Just as sin brought into the camp hindered my people of old from moving on, you will not move on until sin in the camp is dealt with. I say unto you, my people, search your hearts, for it is at this place that you will be purged of every defilement. This is a place of repentance and a place to drink deeply of my mercy and grace being poured out to you. It is a watering hole, a place to be refreshed for the journey that is ahead. Do not be anxious to move on, but allow my spirit to do a complete work at this location. Be willing to be led by the pillar of fire I have put within your midst, the consuming fire of my presence, and do not try to move on until the pillar moves, but receive the refining and refreshing that is being released unto you at this place. When the work is complete, the pillar will move on and you will enter into a deeper move of my spirit, says the Lord. I hope this word today will encourage you that the Lord is merciful and gracious, but he also can see all things, and he knows exactly what's going on in our hearts and in our lives. And his intention is to purify us, to refine us, to bring us into that place where we come into alignment with his will and his purposes. We may think that our lives are our own, but if we are in Christ, they aren't our own. The Bible tells us that we were bought with a price, that it's no longer us who live, but Christ who lives in us. We belong to him, and he is refining his vessels and completing the work he intended all along. And so, as this word suggests, we may feel like we are corralled in and at a standstill. But the Lord is telling us that it is at this place that he has stopped us and he is working on us and preparing us for the journey ahead. 
And that journey will take us into a deeper move of the Spirit of the Lord. I am sure we are all going through trials at this time, through challenges. But the Lord is in these challenges. And so as we continue to put our trust in Him, to draw near to Him, we can be assured He has great things on the horizon for us. I hope this word today has blessed you and will encourage you, and I thank you for taking the time to listen. May the Lord bless you abundantly beyond all that you could think or ask. May his love be poured out upon you. May he strengthen you and encourage you to run the race with great endurance. Be blessed on this day. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.